That's quite a scary number when you think about it. That's Lee Torres, a marine ecologist and professor at Oregon State, who's been studying gray whales for years. And that number? It's the number of microparticles whales off the Oregon coast ingest every day. Up to 21 million pieces of cotton, polyester, nylon, and other plastics. The numbers even caught Torres off guard. Very high. They were kind of shockingly high, so much so that we redid our math multiple times to make sure that we were doing it correctly. To figure out that number, Torres had to look at what the whales were eating, which is mostly a tiny animal called zooplankton. We estimated that each um, gram of tissue from a zooplankton had four, about four microparticles in that. And just how much is 21 million microparticles? So, Suzanne Brander, who co-authored the research, end end, explained. If you laid 21 million microfibers from end to end, it would end up being like, what, 19 or 20 miles in length. Microparticles come from our washing machines, our dryers, even our car tires. So it isn't surprising that traces of human pollution are floating off the Oregon coast. Yeah, microplastic pollution is everywhere. It's in every ecosystem and every environment. It's floating around the air right now where you and I are. They've been found in the Arctic Circle. They've been found in the Mariana Trench, in the little worms and critters that live um, on on the seafloor there. Studies on other animals have shown microplastics can lead to cell and tissue damage, and sometimes disease. It's not yet clear what the impacts on gray whales might be, but the animals are already struggling through what scientists call an unusual mortality event. Since 2019, higher-than-average numbers of gray whales have been washing ashore from Mexico to Alaska, and experts believe they're having trouble finding food. Torres said she doesn't think microparticles are causing the whales' deaths, but they aren't helping either. Um, I think they're nutritionally compromised, but certainly when animals get nutritionally compromised, other things start impacting them more, such as pollutant loads that they might carry from microplastics. There are things you can do to help, though. There are filters you can fit on your washing machine or your dryer to catch microparticles. And you can cut down on single-use plastic, too. But plastic pollution has become so ubiquitous that Brander said bigger solutions are needed. It's industry that needs to reduce its footprint and consumers need to have better options available to them for us to really make some headway um, in reducing the amount of plastic pollution.